that he took, the building that we just came from. Yeah. But that are the ones purely based on our secret societies of Sierra Leone, our tradition and our culture and heritage of Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. um, actually, in Sierra Leone, we have 18 different ethnic groups, tribes cut across various regions. We have the Mende, the Timini, the Limba, the Loko, the Madugo, the Kukini, the Pai, the Eroka, the Kulo, the Shabu, we also have the Bagas, we have the Soso, we have the Yelunkas, 18 in all, but 12 of them we are actively participating. Like anywhere you go, you can see somebody speaking those 12, because they form the majority. We also have tribes that are very dominant. Dominant in a sense because of their minority population. It's very seldom for you to see somebody speaking those ethnic groups. You know, like thinking about the Gola, they are very small, thinking about the cream, they are very small, thinking about the bagas, the Yeruka, even the Shabu. These are minor ethnic groups. And even some of those ethnic groups have joined the bigger ethnic groups within the same geographical location. And also we have the Muslim religion and the Christianity. But the Muslim is dominated, something about 60% Muslim, the Christianity is 35%, which is 95%. The remaining 5% is the animals. Some of them are Muslim, neither Christian, they love them, but they are very small in numbers. You know, they worship idols, stone and they are lazy. The first exhibition here is called the Witch Doctor, and it is locally called Ariobo. This is what? The, 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 witch the witch doctor. Locally called Ariobo. I guess she have heard about mm -hmm. Ariobo. Yes. The Ariobo is purely originate from the northern part of Sierra Leone. The Timine. Yeah, Timine. Yes, and it's dominated by the Timine tribes, the second largest ethnic groups. The witch doctors. Yeah, the witch doctor. So the witch doctor comes out whenever there is a difficult situation, like probably stealing or the passed away of a child, which is not the will of God. Traditionally, if you may want to know the culprit of certain offenses, you can consult the witch doctor to tell you because they can see beyond human imagination. The witch doctor can also tell you about your present condition, your past, and even your future, and will reveal it to you just now. That is why it's made up of items that contain juju, black magic, supernatural powers. As you can see, the antelope on the cow shells, the porcupine quill, these are all items that is embedded. March 1991. But the method at which the rebel were fighting is not in the interest of the average Sierra Leonean. For an example, during the war, you see massive and a lot of destruction. So that brings about the formation of the civil defense force. Civilian team up together in order for them to protect their own areas, locally called Kamajos. So these were the marks they used to carry out initiation to initiate boys and girls into the Kamajos secret societies, yes. After initiating them, their bodies well fortified to withstand bullets. And they give them gun and bullets for them to defend their own village against the rebels. Because at that time, the soldiers who were supposed to protect lives and property, some of them have even joined the rebels for personal gains. So that is why civilian team up in order for them to protect their own regions. So these were the original marks used for initiation. But we thank God due to the coming of the British forces and other African contingents like the Nigerian-led Ekumok, the rebel war happened to end in 2001. So it lasted for a period of 11 years. So automatically they declared disarmament and they reintegrated them back into society. They transformed them into civilian life again. Like if you are a rebel, you come with your arms and ammunition, they ask you which job do you want to do. Some are saying that they want to go into carpentry. Some are saying that they want to go into engineering. So they transform them back and they reintegrate them into life again. So finally, we have peace in Sierra Leone. But it was very terrible at that time. You know, you see massive. I can imagine. You know, yeah. We are in Sierra Leone by then? No. no. <laughs> My first time was in Sierra Leone was back in May. Yes. Uh, what May. can you tell me about the Benti? The, the Benti. The, 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 the Okay. The Betis also is just like the Kamagos. Yeah, I know. The They're Kamagos. my family. Yeah, the Betis. Okay, you are part of the Timini ethnic group. Yes. yes. Timini. Okay. I'm, I'm the nephew of the Komorabai. Komorabai. My fellow. Yes. Yeah, the Timini, they are the second largest ethnic group. But presently, I think, based upon the widely speaking of the Timini, they have already become the first. The first. Yes. Because of from the ministry or from the statistics that we got, the Timini have not grown up. It was a law as well. They are the largest ethnic group presently. You know, so the Betis that you have made mention of is from the north. 
In the north, we have other fighting force, traditional fighting force during the war. We have the Betis there, we have the Tamambaro there, we have the Donzo and the Capras. These are all from the north. In order for them to protect um, Otloko district, Cambia district, these are the districts from the north. I've been sent on a mission to learn their ways. Exactly. <laughs> this is the Abi, the Gobo, and the Jobai. They belong to the main the ethnic groups. The, first largest ethnic group in Sierra Leone. But they come out during the crowning ceremony of their paramount chief. Whenever they want to crown their so chief. So purely, I think, you know, purely the history of the team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can learn anything, it's fine. We also it's have the hunting society. The hunting society is purely originate from the Yoruba people. Mm -hmm. The Yoruba people, they settled earlier in Freetown as a liberated Africans just after the abolition of slave trade. So at that time, slavery cut across between various West African countries. Sierra Leone, Nigeria, Ghana, they were all part of slave trade. But slavery was abolished in 1808 by William Wilberforce. He said he's a British national because of the languishing of black people in Europe and also the modernization of modern technology that will going to replace human beings. So the bill was passed by Gavin Sharp. But it was totally abolished by William Wilberforce in 1808. And after the abolition of slave trade, automatically Sierra Leone was declared as free town which means any slave who step is free. Yeah, it's free. It's free. So at that time, you see vast amounts of slaves. They were coming from England, America, especially in South Carolina and Georgia State. So they came along with this society, which is the hunting society. This is their drum that they used to beat. We have the head of the masqueraders. This is the boom that they used to dip inside calabash, containing liquid substances, which they used to pour into the head in order to give motivation to the masqueraders to dance. And also, as the name implies, hunting society, they used to go to a bush to hunt bushmeat. So it comes out there in wedding ceremony, naming ceremony occasionally. These are cross sections of our carving that people worship in those days before the coming of the missionaries. Our forefathers, they strongly believe on those things. They worship them as their gods. But due to the coming of the missionaries, they started building churches, mosques, and persuade people to stop worshiping those things, you know, for worshiping. You know, like in those days, we don't know what is God. So our forefathers, they believe on those things, they consult them. Like whenever they want their business to flourish, they bow down and consult in them. Sorry. This is the god of the sea, the water goddess. It resides at the Atlantic Ocean, but it appears to people through dreams. Like when you are sleeping, you'll be fortunate to dream this one. But after you have dreamt it, you should not reveal it out to any other person. Because both of you will come into contractual agreement. Mami Wata will give you all what you want in life. You become the richest man in Sierra Leone or the richest female in Sierra Leone. You own fleets of cars. You build series of houses wherever you go, people talk about you. But she also will give you condition because nothing goes for nothing. nothing goes Probably, yes, yeah, she will say that after she has already given you those riches, then when you attain certain age, like 50 years, you will pass away. Or you will not marry or neither you give back. It all depends upon the conditionalities given to you. You know, then if you succumb to that, both of you will come into agreement. And currently, I think we have some people that make use of Mami Wata. Yeah. Yeah, you can see them flourishing. Flourishing. Yeah, they have all like what it takes. Some... You know, they build cities of houses. Mm -hmm. They have fleets of cars. You know, they are filthy rich. But some of them, they died at an early, early stage. Yes. Then, so, the Mami Wata can be unconditioned. So, you can only wear white, not different color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, you can see some, they rich, not they wear slippers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of the condition of the, the society may enjoy the... Mami Wata in condition. Like yes. Some they become rich at the end, end up with a people, yeah, yeah, yeah. disabled. Yes, yes, yes. When I say disabled, every side for you they paralyze. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. nothing goes for nothing. So exactly. they in exchange. Yeah, exactly. And the, the Mami Wata gets something like now nah, generation to generation yet on board. Like if you mean you to give back, you get the Mami Wata where you die, you give to the sun where you know so you yeah, get yeah, the yeah, most. Yeah, 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 so yeah. in the carry. Exactly. Wow. So, yeah. This is how the Mami Wata operates. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. I was the language you told me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bismillah, you and Are you Muslim? Yes. Yeah, Muslim I mean religion. Marvelous. I'm uh, glad to be, for you to be a Muslim. You yeah. know, I also am a Muslim, you know. And we also have the clamping device. I will device. not make some type of contract. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is the clamping device. Basically, it's used for the a position of slave trade. During the transatlantic slave trade. They use this one to impose punishment. On they open it and um, you place your feet, they clamp it. You sit under the sun for the rest of the day. A slave who committed offense, they open it like this. You place your feet. 
So, what in all? Let me show you what in all the food. I get it. Like if you commit it's time, so you put your foot yeah. both sides. Yes. You clamp it. And there is a lock at one end. They locked it. Yeah, you stand for the rest of the day. To detach your movement. You know, during the transatlantic slave trade. Yeah, we also have the balance. Come ceremony of Parliament. You know the yes. society one person they get one tradition like, any year will make the chief they will marry. The chief the, the chief they organize one whole society. From there they pick the most beautiful woman they count as a yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they wear her married to her. Yes. So then they say, but you know more. Don't get the marriage. Yes. So you belong to all in me. To all in me, exactly. <laughs> so she says. <laughs> Yes, yes. That's the ideology of the Timini. Yes. This is the, the society that she has already told you about. Mm -hmm. yeah. After this society, you know, Paramount Chief, they pay their bright pride, especially bright for price. the Timini tribe. Timini. That is why they have many, many wives. Many wives. You know, yeah. the best of the girls, you know, they marry them. You know, and these are the headdress of the Sowe who carry out the mutilation. But they are mm -hmm. trying to abolish it now, the FGM. A lot of sensitization is going on to put a stop. To it because they can use single instrument for the cutting down of many many girl child. So there is a possibility for transmission of disease. Then after the cuttings, they also use the organ for other ritual purposes. It's sometimes affecting. Wait, them wh why, 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 why they, they take the, the organs? Well, it is it's a tradition. It's a tradition, but but presently they are trying to abolish it, and a lot of sensitization is going on to put a stop to it. You know, yeah. and these are cross section of the various cabins. You know, and we also have the Kamadios. You know, this one, this one is against humanity, actually. That is why they signed mm -hmm. a treaty. These are the Kamadios used for the Kamadios hunters in the southeast to protect mm -hmm. their own region. Yeah. After they initiate them, they give them this vest. Yes. It functions just like bulletproof. Yes. When they put on this one, bullets will not enter their body. Yes. And it also helps them to be visible and invisible. Yes. Especially when the fighting is tense. You mm. can just see them disappear. But mm. provided if they maintain the rules and regulation govern when you put on this one, you should not steal. You know, you have to fight a genuine cause to liberate your people. Mm -hmm. Because that was the initial oath that you are taking. Or kind of like Bible. Bible exactly. We also have cross section. And we have country clubs. Country clubs. Yeah, I bought one today. This is the raw material country clothes. Excuse me. Um, say that again. The clothes, the country clothes you buy, yeah. mm -hmm. the green, white, and blue. Yeah, this is the so, way they produce. Now this, now the thread, this uh, way they These are our raw materials, the cotton. The cotton, the raw you know, material. It normally grown up in Sierra Leone. After photosynthesis, when the sun is penetrating, you see the seed got split. Mm -hmm. And this is the raw material, the cotton that came out. Mm -hmm. They cut the it into loom, into thread form. And mm -hmm. this is the weaving device. They used to weave it. It comes like this. Mm -hmm. And they assemble them to form cloths. Mm -hmm. you know? And also the dyeing of the country cloth, the pattern of dyeing, the design of the cloth also represents different ethnic groups. Yes. Each ethnic group have their own design. design. So in those days, during early 1700s, 1800s, when you set eyes on a particular individual, put on this one or this or this, you can easily tell the tribe, the tribe or region of so. that individual. But we have neglected the production of it now. You know, presently I think we have the Chinese imitated one flooding mm. the market. We have to bring it back. Back, exactly. Because we, like in Ghana, Ghana we are well recognized for kente. kente. And today you enter in Ghana, you see kente cloth flooding the market. You um, know, that's why at the time when we didn't have a big today, yeah. the big market, yeah. somebody caught a fan like this. I think the same this yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. This one is good too. This one is good too. Yes. So, what do you think? I'm clumsy. Okay. 
Who comes? I say this thing they were for the jam. So. Right, we found not supposed for this one. Ah. We found supposed for the matter. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, that's matter. the traditional way. Exactly. exactly. This is the Ghanaian mm -hmm. form. This is the mm -hmm. Ghanaian. Yes, and this is the thing. Uh, yeah, right. But we have neglected vast amount of our culture. This is the Gongoli Max. It comes out especially during sadness for you to become happy. You know, mm -hmm. they give you some form. It's like a clown. Yeah. You know, for you to have a joyous mood. We have the lion. Take a lion is a replica of our name, Sarah Leo. Then we got our name as a result of this animal, Sarah Leo. Yes. Lion Mountain. Sarah Leo. So yeah, the thunder storm. And the, the mountain was just resembling like the shape of a lion. Yeah. So when the, the thunder is echoing, the one who discovered Sarah Leo thought that there is a lion in that mountain that is roaring. So he gave the name Sarah Dalua. It's a Portugal word, yeah. which means lion in that mountain. I read it in the book. Yeah, you read it in the book, Marvelous. Yes. So you know about it. So yeah. these are cross section of our village. This, this is Timney. Timney, yes. Wow. This one is specifically from um, Potloko district. The that we have never had a Bolomine. Bolomine. Yes. I did snap with you. I did, I snapped a couple. Yes, Bolomine. Look at the camera, baby. Alright, there you go. Oh, Yeah. It's cooler in here than outside, though. So how come? How come? How come the? the uh, can you explain? How come the uh, the Timney Warriors wear this kind of outfit? Well, this one is specifically not for warriors. It comes out for entertainment. Okay. Like when we're having our independent celebration. Okay. It comes out to give a colorful celebration, but it's mostly for the Timney yes. ethnic groups in in the northern part of Sierra Leone, like with local districts. Okay. And this is the particular mascara that mascara and sometimes they come out in the new year. New year. New year. Yes, sir, so most this. of the Jesse they can't can yes, can the 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 So most Jesse they wait on and say December. December see most of them want for cancer. Yeah, 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 yeah. For witness where this they come up. Yeah, most of them only come out one ten per year. Yeah, because they will have a a, a colorful performance. Oh. Yeah, yeah. From America, from England, Holland, they used to come to Sarah Leo, you know, to dance to those masqueraders. Because at that time, the fun, you create fun, a lot of things happening. You know, it's, it's a good masqueraders. Everybody yeah. can dance to it. We also have the auntie, you know, uh, yes. from the Yorubas. The yeah, Yorubas. This is the Matoma from the Limba. The Limba, yeah, they have the sword and they have yeah. the shield, exactly. the black the black magic. Well, yeah, this is a black magic. These are all protection. This one comes out young in farming activities because the policies of the labor, whenever they want to carry out farming activities, Matoma comes out to pour libation to their ancestors, to evocate the spirit of their ancestors so that they will have rich harvesting. Then Matoma also protects the farms and it also comes out during political tension, like when we're having our election. Because to be kindly speak, vast amount of the labor belongs to the outgoing government, the APC. So there is a policy on Matoma, whenever it's dancing, then it go down like this. Everybody within that vicinity should go down. go down. If not, something definitely happen to you. You know, we have some magical means that will affect you. I make them on the match, I mean, I will eat them before months. Yes. I will dance them on the match. Okay. We also have the full dress of the bundu, you know, for the FGM. This is the full dress of the sewing, the bundle, you know. Sewing. Yeah, we also have the family that belongs to the Mende. You know, they come to be in the crowning ceremony of Paramount Chief. Mm -hmm. And we also have another form of Odele, like that yeah. one over there. During um, festivals. What tribe? This one is mostly cut across in various ethnic groups. Okay. It comes out specifically for the independent celebration also. Okay. You know, this one belongs to the Mende also. You know, and also this one belongs to the Shango of Mende in the southeast. You know? mm -hmm. And we also have cross section of our Paramount Chief. Mm -hmm. I think this one my uncle. Yeah. Yeah, it's from um, Alaji Baiku from Tonkolini district mm -hmm. in the north part of Sarali. Yeah. This is an amok, hammock. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's a civilization tent. We also have um this from the Queen during the visitation made by the Queen during the independence uh -huh. in 1961. 
she came here to grace the occasion. As you can see, on top is a round object which represents the load of the country. And underneath is an elephant, it represents the population. Uh -huh. It signifies that since you have already gained independence, you have to carry out. Is it made from gold? Yeah, it's made from brass. Brass. Brass, okay. Yes, exactly. This was the old bell used by the British, the war bell, in, 18, in 1804. When they rang the bell, you see the British military come and stand to take their parade when oh, they were under their own administration. And this was the tin lamp. And we also have Juju, Black Magic Charms. Black Magic Charms? Yeah. yeah, this is Yogo Stone. It's used for fortune tellers. What's it? Yogo Stone, it's used for fortune tellers. And we also have Petua. Most women used to tie it in their waist Petua. to attract men. Yes. Yeah, these are all Juju. <laughs> we also Check have uh, uh, um, um, the Rich Ball. Of course, you know this one. The no. Rich Ball. <laughs> Yeah, okay. This one is common in Sierra Leone, you know, which one? No, yeah. okay, it's in my side. Ah, they are not believing in anything. We also have, um, we also have, um, Carafilo. Carafilo? Yes, mm -hmm. Carafilo. Used as a protection. Used as a protection, yes. For the old Muslim family. For the family. old Muslim family. They used to hang it behind okay. doors. Okay. But yeah. now they condemn us. They condemn us. This is our tradition, but we condemn it. But it's not part of our tradition. No, for me, I like when they condemn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not like to know some of them are society. Yeah, we need to see it. Because they want to modernize now. Even the term where they address me, somebody come up, the term for the white wedding, may they put them on their cinema and not believe in nothing. You can dress me ordinary. Besides, I'm not still anybody, man. So. I don't need no. <laughs> the only natural. thing I need, let them just pray for me. Gang. Now, a destiny yeah, from God. Yeah, it has been destined. A white man is called Peter Penful. Yeah, it was a British High Commissioner to Sierra Leone during the war. Mm -hmm. But during that time, he has passion for Sierra Leone. They were at the brim so that the war will end. He went as far as helping the government, you know, and also served as a mediator between the British government and the Sierra Leone government together with the rebels. So as a result of all that kind of work that he has done to bring a lasting peace to Sierra Leone. So as yeah. a result of that, he was honorary crown as a paramount chief. You know, his name is Peter Penful. This was the book that he wrote, Atrocity, Diamond and Diplomacy, because it's of the word Blood Diamond. I, ha I guess you have heard about the movie. Yeah, yeah. I saw the movie plenty of yes, times. Exactly. We also have this was What the about the sword? The sword yeah, was the his? Swords, yes. The Kapama chief used to fought war. This was the sword. They gave him a sword. I hope yes, I hope right. they get a sword before I leave. Exactly. We will take him to man. We have captured here. They went with the idea of producing shikupa skirt, especially in South Carolina and Georgia State. They produce it with sea grass. This glass is open? Well, it get problems. Small. They get problems. I can help you now. You need the slides. They need the... By the way, they don't change your yes. modernized form, eh? Like, you, you can understand that there are a million kids. I say for the slide. No, like, at least if you just want to have a good dog span, clean and... Yes. Like, you can like that, a million in back. You find it. No, I like the supposed of them. Okay. It's fine, but just... Yes. They're going to make a slide it's to the church. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, exactly. We got this now. We need to also have the Wai board game. The game that they play with seeds. Some play with banga. Banga. Yeah. But it is not common in Sierra Leone. It's mostly common in the eastern part of Africa. Mostly, I can see the Nigeria. Yeah, it's not Sierra Leone. For slide, but it's not passing. Well, that's how. All right. Okay, slide, slide. Why? So, we'll do the church. Yeah, we'll do it. See? <laughs> Beside the shukublai. <laughs> so inside the team, they keep the money. The money, yes. One keep money, one keep cola nuts. So some get the bigger one. Yeah, so the rest keep exactly, exactly. Any other one. Come on, wait. Those soldiers who lost their lives during the first and second world war. Yeah. They're, miss, they're missing some weapons from last time. I remember they had the uh, total sh turtle shield. This is by Buri. Yeah, my 
great, 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 great relative. Yes, he did just by doing. He fought against the beaches mm -hmm. for not paying tax. When we are under the beaches, the beaches are under the tax. Yes. How are we pay, how are we gonna pay the British yes, for living which, in our own exactly, land? Which means any house that you own, you should pay tax to them. So he was a permanent chief in the northern part in a, they village a different kind of slavery. Exactly, different kind of slavery. So he staged a stiff resistance for not paying tax to the beaches. Yes. Because his bone of contention was he was saying that he is the owner of the land and he built his house. Yeah. How can he pay tax to foreigners? Yeah. And if someone wants to pay tax, it should have been the beaches because they are the ones that's coming. Exactly. So he decided to stage a guerrilla war against mm -hmm. the beaches. Already Initially, he was right on top of the situation because he managed to capture some of the bridges. I took one before. But at the end, the bridges were very angry of him. So they declared the arrest of Baibuye by placing 100 pounds. Mm -hmm. So at that time, 100 pounds is a huge sum of money. But at the end, Baibuye was betrayed by his own people. Yeah. And he was arrested by the bridges. Mm -hmm. Initially, what they do, they exile him to Ghana, where he was in prison for a couple of five years. But yeah. he, he was brought back to Freetown in Potloko district in a village called Kasse. Mm -hmm. But he stayed there from 1905, he died in 1908. You know, mm -hmm. but he put on a stiff resistance. He's on yeah, law have mercy on him. Do you have the 1,000 rooms for you to Can you explain the weapons? Yes. So my phone is losing charge a little bit, but... Um... I don't have 1,000, I'm supposed to show. Yes, the remembrance of Baibuye. These are some of his property that he fought with. Yeah. You know, the war was called Gorilla War. It's not with gun. Yeah, you know, gun with, he war. used to appear, disappear yeah, manually. You know, these are slings, swords. Yeah, you, know, you swing it, the rocks and kill people. Like then you leave the one and, and, and leave it. And this is uh, the silver sword. The silver sword. And then yeah. that was a, is that like a chain gun, right? Chain gun, exactly. Yeah, the chain gun he shoots. Exactly. And they never talk about this in, yeah. in America. This is like the one of the coolest weapons ever. The axe sword. So, playing the Ronco. The it's, it's kind of like the Kama Jorvis. No, not the Kama Jorvis. But is, it's similar, it, right? Well, it's a typical Paramount Chief cloth. Okay. Like when you are crowned as a Paramount Chief. Yes. Sometimes you should not use ordinary cloths mm -hmm. like this because you are representing the village. The village. Mm -hmm. You should use cloth that has protection to protect your body against any evil, evil bullets. bullets. You know, these uh, are a typical. Power that's what I meant. Similar as in for its, its functionality, as far as like protection. That's what I meant. Yes, yes, yes. It protects body. These are all the charms, as you can see, display of a typical traditional Palmer chief regalia and other. Um, property used by Paramount chief mm -hmm. you know like the Paramount chief sometimes when they want to go to another area or when they want to visit it they mm -hmm. want to visit some traditional play you know they put on those things because you have to be man sometimes you know? yeah. and they carry the sword with them yeah, too they carry the sword gangster sometimes. and this is madame Yoko. it's portrayed the african map settings Mm -hmm. You know, from various African countries, it's over five hundred, it's over fifty years old tortoise, very old tortoise, mm -hmm. and this is the ALV of Peter. And we also have um, Afola Bitelo used bicycle from Sierra Leone to Uganda. Okay. It's a man called Afola Bit, but he cycled from Sierra Leone to Uganda oh, on road. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. In nineteen fifty-seven. And then the first day we put it on the year. Yeah, the year. Not now. Not now, exactly. 